Tom, I mean, did you always have the concept in mind? Because you, you were planning two films anyway, weren't you, really? Yeah, uh, yeah two or three. Two or, yeah. And so th the second concept, you always had this, because it is an interesting take on fandom to Yes, me. yeah, it is. When I was writing part one, I had so many ideas, I couldn't put them all in uh, one film. And then I was thinking, what is worse than a medical scientist uh, yeah, uh, attaching people's mouth to anus? And then I thought, that must be someone who doesn't have any medical science who sews people up to her mouth to anus. Eh? And then uh, I traveled all over the world to film festivals and uh, uh, every time the question was, what if some maniac out there copies your idea? And then I knew it, that's definitely gonna, uh, gonna be my idea. And uh, yeah, I, I, I always said to the audience as a, as a joke, uh, part one will be My Little Pony compared to the second one. Part one is uh, very psychological eh? and uh, I wanted the audience to get used to the sick idea first and in the second one I would go full force so I show everything, the gore, the blood, the shit, everything. But why the decision to choose black and white photography? Part one is, has very clinical colors, it's all uh, yeah, very steadily <coughs> shot and it really fitted the story of Dr. Heiter and I wanted the completely opposite look of, uh, of part two. Part two is all shot handheld, I wanted a dirty look and then I took out all the colors and it worked so really well on the story of Martin and uh, I, I, yeah, I, I thought this is it, this is the look I'm, uh, I'm, yeah, I want to have for the sequel. Now, speaking of Martin, I mean I never thought you'd be able to find another yep. lead actor like Peter <laughs> Laser, but you actually yeah. did. So where did you find Lawrence? Uh, yeah, I also wanted an opposite character of Dieter, eh? because yeah, he's no, so not like Dieter, no. the opposite. He's so brilliant. Yeah? Uh, I may always <coughs> make the joke: uh, Dieter is uh, long and thin. Lawrence that's is not short and fat. Yeah, <laughs> and then uh, we did the auditions in London, and I saw about eight uh, characters, and I was very disappointed. Till uh, Lawrence R. Harvey uh, entered the room, and I thought, "My God, that man looks amazing!" And then I put a camera on his face. And I saw his incredible eyes and his, uh, his uh, radiance yeah, on the screen. And then uh, I see, yeah, I wanted to see how far he would go. Eh? So I asked him, can you play for me that you rape the human centipede? And then he took a chair and he made wild, wild laugh to it. And I, th I thought, this is my man. I mean, you must have known going in, Lawrence. I mean, what you were going <coughs> to let yourself in for, let's be honest. Well, I, yeah, I mean, I'd seen the first, uh, the first one. And I, I sort of knew that the, that Tom was going to be a director with his own kind of idiosyncratic take on things, mixing kind of high art and low kind of exploitation cinema, mm -hmm. you know. So I, I I was kind of intrigued by that kind of mix. And then when we were actually in the thing, uh, in the casting, and Tom sort of described the film scene by scene. And uh, as he was getting to the gory bits, I was going, oh, wow, that's just like guinea pig, uh, flowers of flesh and blood. Oh, oh, no, that's all night long. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I love Asian film, especially uh, Japanese film. But, you know, so I've seen the kind of Japanese gore films from the uh, 90s and early 2000s kind of thing. What about the nudity side of it, though? I mean, you, you spend a lot of the time with nothing on <coughs> No, I've always got my pants on. Oh, true. <laughs> tiny yeah. pants, a tiny well, pants. Uh, yeah. Well, I, I tuck them under my belly and, uh, and pull them up at the back, so that it just seems like a, it's like a g-string for fat. So you didn't think of any? I mean, you're a horror um, fan. You just told me yeah, you're a fan yeah, of yeah. my work, the legend that is yes. Alan Jones. Uh, but no, so you didn't have any problem with any of the gore or anything. At, at that no, time, no. I mean, I, I was disappointed that I didn't get my own prosthetic. To play with, you know, so yeah. Uh, so yeah, but I've been mean, playing with the prosthetics and the splatter, the blood cannon and so on, that's all brilliant for me, yeah. I mean, the differences between you directing the first and the second, I mean, how yeah. harder, easier was it? Uh, the first one was uh, pretty difficult in the casting process, as you can imagine. Eh? Uh, casting the human centipedes was, was pure hell. We went to New York and like 70% of the actresses, they left the audition room immediately, thinking I was a European uh, nutcase. Uh, and and then, right, yeah, 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 a little bit <laughs> right, but uh, yeah, because uh, yeah, you, those beautiful actresses, you put them on their hands and knees, and they were afraid to be, uh, yeah, close to an ass. So, so many left, huh? and the, the ones with the biggest balls were Ashton and uh, Ashley, and they really, uh, yeah, they, 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 they made it, uh, yeah. But it was quite a short shooting schedule too. I mean, it really <coughs> yeah. did. Yeah. Go for it. Uh, go, go for it. That's my style. Especially when, 
when those scenes are so physical, you have to. You you can't take uh, uh, take hours to shoot shoot a scene like that because people won't survive. So you just take your camera and you shoot it almost guerrilla guerrilla style. Eh? Mm. Yeah. What's your favourite scene? Obviously, you like doing the most. Uh, the one that I like doing the most. Beating my mum's head in. <laughs> it's very cathartic for me. <laughs> I mean, you must have been astonished. I mean, the first film got quite a lot of sort of like yeah. flack and attention. Oh, yeah. And the fact that this one, I mean, you yeah. must have been completely gobsmacked when the oh. BBFC just said banned outright. I mean, because it is a comedy. That's the, I mean, it it's, a, it's a, a satire. It yeah. I, w I was so surprised when the BBFC did it because I so much respect the English sense of humour. Eh? Uh, in, in the UK it's uh, almost invented. And I, I, I really add so much black humour in it. And I was so disappointed that the BBFC couldn't see the humour in it. I, 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 I couldn't understand it. At the same time I was jumping from joy because it would uh, uh, have this uh, tremendous uh, marketing uh, value, eh? it's, <laughs> which it did eh? T up till this point. So I'm very glad now it's unbanned and uh, the UK audience can see it now. Eh? I mean, but it's a scene that they actually objected to. It's just like, it's just ludicrous. I mean, it's I've, so true. I've likened it to sort of like the Monty Python, the meaning of life, and I said that it's like Mr. Creosote section. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, about, it's about as repugnant exactly as that, that, but yeah. as funny yeah. as that. Yeah, it's so, yeah. Yeah. so over the top, those scenes. Eh? and. Uh, it's almost Mel Brooks, people say. The shitting scene is Mel Brooks. And, uh, and, uh, but some people don't see the humor. Eh? Audiences are like pale and, and almost crying and want to leave the theater. And they don't laugh for a second. So it's just in the, in the, uh, yeah, the hat but of the, uh, the, 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 the script on paper was so funny, you know. And that sort of, the, the whole laxative scene was just like, uh, the end of society, it brands yeah. young as a society, isn't it? It's just no, like that was my favourite So OTT, yeah. you know, so... Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to ask, I mean, are you going to do a third one? I mean, if this is too good to be true, isn't it? You have to do another one. Yeah, yeah, de definitely. I, I uh, knew from the start I wanted to make a trilogy because three films make a human centipede. And in the end, all the three films can literally be connected and they form one four and a half hour uh, film. And after the uh, part three, no more centipedes for me. <laughs> okay, so if the first one, if the second one was was not My Little Pony, what's the yeah. third one going to Oh yeah, that's going to uh, upset a lot of uh, people, but in a different way than part uh, two. Part one was really psychological, horror, eh? part two is the gore, and part three, and I won't spoil it, has a whole different look uh, on the centipede, uh, and uh, people will get upset for different reasons than for part two or one. But it's definitely not the kids from the grassy streets. That's <laughs> no, no, no. It's gonna be. No, a, it'll, it'll make the second one look like a kids. Disney film, maybe. Yeah. I love you, Tom, because you're like one of the best, the, uh, the most iconoclastic directors around, and you keep doing this. Thank you so much. I think it's absolutely brilliant that you're actually taking on this whole establishment the way yeah. you do, and I think it's absolutely brilliant. So. Oh. You just keep doing it. Thanks, well, thank you very much. And try and find somebody as good as Lawrence. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you won't yeah. be able to do it. No, no, no. <laughs> They're brilliant.